Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a five minute routine for stretching out your lower back. It's really great if you're dealing with any kind of lower back pain or tension, or if you wanna promote lower back health and overall health and well being for your body. And you can do this in the morning before you go to work, you can do this in the evening, or even at work during lunch breaks. And I designed this so that you can do it on a mat on the ground, but if you have a hard time getting on the ground, you can also do this on a bed. Just before we do this, I do want to give you a little bit of education that if you're feeling lower back pain or you're dealing with back issues, um, you want to be thinking more globally than the area that it hurts or really just thinking about your lower back. You want to be thinking about stretching hip flexors, which are these muscles here in the front of your body, your actual hips, your hamstrings, your lower back, your sacrum. So they're really, uh, it all works together and it is really important to get to all those areas. So even if you have only five minutes, try and do a few stretches that get into all of these areas. If you are dealing with a lot of tightness, it's really nice to sit on something to help give you that pelvic, uh, pelvic tilt that takes pressure off of your lower back when you're stretching. If you can get your hands on something that is with, filled with uh, buckwheat, then that would be ideal or some kind of firm pillow. Uh, I do make and sell buckwheat bolsters that are perfect for this, and I will post a link down below so that you can check it out. Okay, let's begin. So, let's start by lying on your back and drawing in one leg at a time into your body and the easiest way to take care of your body if you're dealing with any kind of tightness is to pulse first or simply rock it in back and forth before you have a longer pause and that really helps to take care of your body and release do that on one side do it on the other pulsing first and then hold and then release and then let's do it one more time over here so this is definitely getting into your glutes which is a wonderful wonderful thing we're going to do it on both sides and when you switch your legs giving the first leg a chance to rest is also really great to help open things up so from this warm-up coming up to sitting and this would be a great time to bring in your pillow if you are tight in your back. And we're gonna do a forward fold. So in the first version, let's do it with our legs crossed. If it's available to you to bring your arms up, bring your arms up first, reach up, and that's also a really great way to stretch out your back, that upward motion that backs need to stretch. And then as you exhale, come forward. If there's a big gap between you and the ground or the bed, you can also put pillows between you and the ground and rest here. And it's a good idea to spend at least a minute in this stretch as we open up the hips, the sacrum, and the lower back. So it's a three in one at least as far as all the ways that you get to benefit your body. If it's available to you, you can always come up, look to one side, and come back forward over the first knee. And of course, I'm on the more flexible side. I can come all the way down to my leg. If you're tighter, maybe it looks something like this, where you feel that nice stretch in your body. And if you're really tight, again, don't forget to pulse first before you pause to help really ease your way in and take care. Turn to the other side and do it again. So again, remember the first way to do it is to go forward. And if that's all you can do, then just stay there. If you have a little bit more time to go side to side, then do it as well. And then we are also going to do it with our legs straight. So with the legs straight, 
Inhale your arms up and come forward. That will be a wonderful way to stretch out your hamstrings as well as the broad muscles of your back. You can always set a timer and do this ideally for at least a minute. And again, thinking of all the different parts of your back that you want to stretch in just a few minutes, we've already targeted the hips, the sacrum, the hip flexors. Now we're targeting the hamstrings and the bigger muscles of your back. And so let's get the hips in another way and, in, and your lower back in a nice stretch called the child's pose. And you can always put a pillow here if you feel any kind of resistance or pain and also under your stomach if you like and come down this way. Really great for opening up this whole area of your back and your body. Try to spend at least 30 seconds to 60 seconds in child's pose. And then when you're done here, come up on hands and knees and we'll do a few cat and cow stretches to really integrate a little bit of movement into your back brings the benefits of the stretching right into your body. So do it a few times with a pulse and then a hold for a few seconds and then rounding in the opposite direction and hold for a few seconds. And there you have it. That's your five minute stretching routine for lower back health and lower back pain. Now, if you are really tight and going through all of these feels like too much for your body, what I would say is just pick one. And in fact, as part of my wheel of healing and vitality, you can see that there are different parts of the wheel and you want to address all these different aspects to help your healthy back. One of them is fascia. Fascia is connective tissue and all of that deep kind of infrastructure of your body. It's all the tendons and ligaments of your body. So very often before you can stretch some of those broader muscles of your body, you want to stretch the fascia and to stretch fascia, you need to hold the positions on the longer side. So one minute is kind of like the short amount of time and three to five minutes is the longer amount of time. So the forward bend with your legs bent and then with your legs straight, if you only have five minutes and you're feeling really tight, then I would even say you don't need to do all of the ones that we did. Just pick those two. Spend two or three minutes with your legs bent going into the forward fold and then two or three minutes with your legs straight and that will get into so many of the deeper layers of tissues of your body and help you to start bringing more flexibility and pliability to your body and relieving some of the pain and aches that you may be dealing with. I mentioned that this is all part of the wheel of healing and vitality, a holistic approach to taking care of your body and your back and your health. So to join this community, then click here to join the mailing list and I'll send you notifications every time that I post a new video. And also don't forget to click here to subscribe to the channel and stay connected. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. I'm here to help you. I just want to wish you some amazing health and encourage you to do these stretches at least once a day. That consistency in action that's at the center of the wheel, it is there for a reason. There's no, no replacing time well spent. And then eventually this thing that starts to feel like a chore at the beginning can actually start to be your favorite parts of the day. So keep at it and let's stay in touch and we'll talk to you real soon.